Welcome back guys. Alrighty, we're gonna quickly smash through how to set up waypoints for your flights if you want to uh, give yourself a flight plan and the difference between it with the uh, the elevation altitudes. Okay, so when you s click on your unit, make sure it's say an actual client. So we're gonna talk about client waypoints or player waypoints and the difference between a waypoint just to like hit and fly as a, a um, part of your flight plan flying waypoints or an actual target designation waypoints where you actually want to slew or have the ability to slew your uh, targeting pod to the waypoint to see the target area okay so we're going to go through that right now so when you come in click on the aircraft it's going to be on the waypoint tab you know make sure you've got add selected scroll out so we're going to make two waypoints okay so we're going to go waypoint one it's going to be right there okay turning point is what we want Okay, the other ones, landing, refuel, flyover point, and landing, they're more for AI, AI aircraft. So if you want to make them land, you can select landing point. If you want to make it flyover point and turning point, pretty much the same thing. And landing, refuel, rearm is uh, another thing for AI. As okay, so you can make them land, get a refuel, get a rearm, and then continue flying again, in theory, but I don't know if that works too good. But we're just going to cover turning point and how we can. Uh, Kind of tweak it to our, our need so altitude we can make this whatever we want 15 and number one key is being a bastard 15,000 feet and we'll make it 450 knots so all that's doing okay is designating a spot in the air and we'll go through this in the mission in the, in, uh, in the actual mission i'll show you the hornet itself 15,000 feet is where the waypoint is going to actually be a physical a physical spot in space and time they're just marking this point at that exact longitude and latitude at 15,000 feet in the air is where this uh, coordinate is going to be placed and the speed is more again for uh, your AI aircraft if you want them to speed up or hit a certain waypoint and increase speed or slow down whatever you want to do speed is more for that okay but for a player we're not you know, you're not going to tell someone, you must fly 250, like they just, they'll do what they want, okay? So that's that. Now we're going to make this one. Okay, we'll call this guy, you can call it whatever you want. So, we'll call it IP, ingress point. And now we're going to come over to here, we're going to click on that, we're going to call this T1, okay, target 1. Turning point, and now, this is what the difference, so if I want this to be an actual uh, waypoint that I can use my targeting pod or slew my weapons to this targeting point. I need to, or waypoint sorry, I need to change my altitude to the ground. So the easiest way you can either mouse over and you see down here in the altitude, mouse over the waypoint and it's altitude 59. Okay, so I can type in 59 feet. Okay, or if you can't be asked or you, you don't really know, you can't be can't be bothered to read what the altitude is just press altitude zero feet and then click and it will default to whatever the lowest altitude is in that spot okay so it will default back to the ground 59 feet either of those and that's it alrighty guys we're back in the hornet so now we're gonna have a quick look at our waypoints that we just created so we're gonna go to here on your HSI Okay, you can do this on the HSI or in the SA page in the Hornet, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to go through what that was that we set up in the mission. Area. So waypoint one, we can see our waypoint is there ahead of us. Okay, if we box it, we know that it's 12.7 nautical mile, but it doesn't say IP on the HUD. It actually says it just there. And we're going to slew our targeting pod to that waypoint. Okay, so we're going to got our waypoint, waypoint designate. You can see that our targeting pod is looking up in the air. All right, it's looking up there at 15,000 feet. That's where it's looking. Because that's the uh, the spot that we, or the altitude that we gave that waypoint. So now if we go to waypoint two, okay, and designate, you can see there, waypoint two is designated, the airfield. And we can zoom around, look around at that airfield and there's our targets. Okay, the uh, tanks and stuff we put down in the mission editor. So that's the difference, okay? So make sure if you want a waypoint or 
you guys to use as a targeting reference point make sure you set the altitude to ground level in that spot so easiest way just press zero for altitude and just click out of it and it will default to ground level for you on that spot all right hope that helped guys i will uh see you on the next one catches